grace, finesse, and precision, these ballet dancers glide across the stage as if they were born not only to dance, but also to contort their bodies in ways that display pure elegance. It almost appears as though the moves performed on stage are second nature for this group of young ballet dancers, and for most, that's exactly what it is. The ensemble of 25 dancers have been training in ballet for most of their lives and are part of the world-famous National Ballet of Cuba. For young children in Cuba, performing with the National Ballet is a dream that rivals playing pro sports, like baseball. They begin training at age 8, when they are chosen as one of 350 students to join the National Ballet of Cuba school. For some, the journey will take them all the way to the top, when they become one of the 70 dancers who actually perform with the National Ballet. The training is, is 10 years of training in Havana at the National Ballet School, and then when they graduate at 18, then they get they get into the they get into the company in a junior in a junior way, and then at 20 they actually become full members of the company. Has been the greatest honor I have, uh, as a dancer I have be with them with them. They are amazing guys. The whole company, the old ones, the new ones, everybody is just amazing, and it's a great company. And Cuba is the top of the ballot and one of the best company in the world. In Cuba, becoming a ballet dancer is a dream that little boys and little girls all dream about, and uh, they 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 t tour all over the island, picking up these these young these young kids, and everybody wants in. So these these dancers, when they're in, they're like superstars within their country. The National Ballet of Cuba is arguably the top ballet company in the world, with many of their dancers moving on to become marquee names in other top ballets around the globe. Over its 60-year history, the company has performed in over 60 countries, including, for the first time, a recent trip to Western Canada. The ballet showcased its unique style of traditional dance that pays tribute to founder Elisa Alonso, who at the age of 91 continues to direct the company. A lot of companies are more into contemporary dance. This is a company that has, has stayed true to like an older style. So in a way, it's an aesthetic that we that we don't often see. Like if you if you would go to New York and see New York City Ballet or the Bolshoi, even like you would you would you wouldn't see the style of dance. It's amazing. I love to travel. I love to dance. You combine that, and here we are. <laughs> Reporting for Shaw TV in Kelowna, I'm Tammy Williams.